caravan of TMT construction crews were forced to turn around for the day. The protesters holding their ground in the name of heritage and at least a dozen leaving in handcuffs. KITV4's Brenton Awa kicks off tonight's team coverage from Mauna Kea. Yanji, even though today's battle on Mauna Kea is over, the effects still can be seen on the mountain. The road is closed after rocks that were laid across it. That was a finishing move put on by protesters after a very long day. Well, this image pits police against protesters. That really wasn't the case on Mauna Kea today. It wasn't just the protesters who were emotional. This is the DLNR's first deputy. Both sides understood what each other had to do. For those who call themselves the protectors, it was to keep the TMT crew off of the mountain. For the police, we need to open this passageway here for the public. DLNR officers tried to clear hundreds of protesters from blocking the roadway. But the lines went on for miles. But out of respect, we will continue our procession up the Mauna. However, you have line after line after line after line that you will have to, you will have to uh, make the same announcement to them. The more those announcements were made, the more tension built until it reached a breaking point. We are under arrest for obstruction. We are going to place you in What is muscle? As some moved out of the way, many more watched their own get arrested. A dozen people were taken in. So why are we doing? But when it was all said and done, it was those against the project who put an end to the work today. Rocks were laid across the roadway, causing crews to stop their trek to the summit, putting another halt on the project. The governor's office put out a statement this evening saying it's disappointed that the rocks were put on the road, saying it's a safety hazard. Now the state's faced with uh, coming up with a plan moving forward. For the latest on the movement, you can tune in to KITV4 News tomorrow morning. We'll be live up here on Mauna Kea, or you can follow us on social media. Reporting from the Big Island, Brenton Awa for KITV4 News.